get a little backing in here. Wow. Slippery on the concrete. All right, guys, before we head out, I just wanted to go over my motovlog setup really quick so that you knew what was going on and so I could document just so that I knew in the past what worked, what didn't work. Right now I'm running the GoPro Hero 10 Media Mod case from GoPro. Got this at Best Buy. I think it works for the 9 and 10. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure it does. Take the battery cover off into the Media Mod case. A curve mount on the front of my Corsair X. I heated it up really good so that thing's on there. It's not going anywhere. I run the Rode lav mic. I have it tucked into the vent right here. I have the vent closed on the front. Have the mic tucked into the vent, taped. And then the good thing about the Corsair X is the cheek pads have a liner over them. And you can slide all the extra cord into that liner. So I'm basically just left with this little tail right here. I'm running this mount right here. It has the kind of adjustable knuckle on it. I run this knuckle on it, just the adapter. Okay. Tighten this up. Bop, 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 bop. And you take your media mod case with a GoPro in it. It's got an auxiliary port on the back. Plug my road mic into this. Open up the mounts. And obviously we're gonna get it at the right angle. If you guys watched the first Behind the Bars episode, you would have noticed that the angle looked terrible. That was not because I had it pointed down, it was because I forgot to put the camera in the super view mode, I believe that's what it's called. And it totally ruined the video. So I'm sorry, this one will be better. Um, but that's my Motovlog setup. All right guys, so. Just dropped off the van here. One up vans in Temecula, California. Now we're gonna ride home. Hopefully I don't get lost here. I think I need to go left. So like I said before, we're basically dropping the van off to get a seat put in so that Griffith can go to the track with us. But right now it's empty inside, so can't do that. Tomorrow, we, uh, we're going to Auto Club Speedway for Fast Track Track Day. I think that's what you would say it. It's a Fast Track Riders Track Day. <laughs> It'll be the first time I go to a track day on the V2, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. My mechanic Fuzzy is going to come out with me to make the day a little bit easier. Um, we're just going to do some riding. I was going to try and coach somebody out there tomorrow, but I think I want to push the bike. But it'll be good for me to, to get some race tires on this stock bike and and just kind of feel feel everything out and not have a stressful environment like we do at the test and uh, just let loose and have some fun. There's an old Jixer. What up? Oh! Shit. Tires are cold, don't judge me. <laughs> Yee! That's a fun turn. Tightens up, whoa. I see a lot of people on the street when I'm in my car. And I'm just gonna do this for an example for you. But they, they lane split so slow. And they're sitting here like this, going by. Think of how long that gives that guy the opportunity to come over and hit me. And in a flash, you're done. So when you're lane splitting, try and be accelerating by cars so obviously be aware of what's going on and know pay attention look ahead like do I need to be worried that this guy's gonna get over you can usually see by somebody's head in the back of their window like they're looking are they gonna get over or not you know so you can you can kind of tell but try and try and be accelerating past cars when you're lane splitting right like I might go by this guy I'm gonna go like this okay slow down once I get by him so many people just sit on the side of the car. Ooh, I think it's wheelie time. <laughs> okay, accelerate past, see? For those of you that were asking, that error that flashes on the screen sometimes, I believe, so it's an ABS error, So ABS error, so whenever I'm wheeling, 
and I set the front wheel down. I think because the thing's not spinning in the air and it's freaking out. Accelerate past the car. But let me know what you guys think about the whole motovlog thing. Do you like the behind the bars episodes? Should we keep them going? Uh, you know, I want to know your thoughts. You guys are the ones watching. <clears throat> like I said before, I want to try and, at a minimum to have a video out once a week. So whether that's a behind the bars episode on the street, if it's a GoPro video from the track, or Nick is able to come out and do some video with us and, and do an actual vlog. You know, I think some guys are turned off by the high quality stuff that Nick puts out. I, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like sometimes we, me and him have discussed, like, seems like the less effort that we put in sometimes is better. So uh, yeah, drop a comment below. Let us know what you think. As always, it would uh, it'd be awesome if you guys can like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel in some way, you can uh, you can go to jh2merch.com, order something off the website. We got stuff like this, like we talked about in the last video. If you want to support us, you can do that. You can go to the Patreon channel. We're actually giving away an Arai Corsair X on Patreon. You got to be a member of the Patreon channel. We're giving away in February. So if you want to win that helmet, brand new Arai Corsair X. It's a black one. It's already got tear-offs on it, so it has the race visor on it. And it's a good way for people to support the channel. Like if you like seeing this content, it really helps us putting out more footage. We appreciate it. And a little backing in here. Wow. Slippery on the concrete. There was no cars behind me, so don't worry. I know I crossed over the lane, but I was checking. I can get ahead of this car. Oh no, I was in the bike lane. I don't want to offend anybody. Right. This is for all the haters. Spread love, not hate. Come on. I love wheeling. Let's do a sit down wheelie. Okay, everybody talks about doing clutch wheelies, man. I hate doing clutch wheelies. Let's try it. Oh, terrible. I'd rather just lift it up. Whoop, whoop. Backing in. So, what do you guys like? Do you like a front brake that when you grab it, it's like a brick thing is just there? Or do you like it to come in a little bit and then hit? I'm a big fan of letting it pull in a little and then letting it hit. I feel like I have more control over the brake lever. If it's just super hard, I feel like it's very sensitive and you can't be smooth with your brake, you know, getting, getting on the brakes. I really like this thing to pull in and I know where the lever is and I know when it's going to start biting. I, I really love that. Whenever I ride a bike that doesn't have that feeling, it really messes me up. What do you guys like? you like a hard brake or a soft brake? Let me know in the comments. Right? See a little backing in here. Can you imagine just sending it off this and hitting a power line? Oh my god. It's this one right here. Okay, look at this ramp. You might need a little kicker here, but imagine with enough speed. I mean, look at this. I just jumped right there. Imagine gapping that. You think you could gap that? I want to jump that. Uh, shit. I thought I could make that. I'm going to do a little jump on this just so you can see it. Like, for sure. You could for sure gap that. Dirty. Ugh. I hate taking my bike in the dirt. 
But I'll jump it. I'm just gonna hit it slow. We're at 50 right here. Watch this. Look, we just jumped that thing so easy on a 300 something pound street bike. Imagine a dirt, imagine a dirt bike, fourth gear, fifth gear tap, just burp. For sure clear that. Like I said, let me know in the comments below what you think about the behind the bars episodes. I want you guys to be included. Don't forget, if you feel like supporting the channel, make sure you go to the Patreon channel. Everything that goes into the Patreon goes right back into making these videos. I got an R3 sitting in my garage that I do not use. Should we give away the R3? Should we do a Patreon build series and give that thing away? Let me know what you think. Shout out to hsbkracing.com. Make sure if you guys need to order parts, you go check them out first. Thanks for watching. Peace.